Thimbles are those little things people wear on their fingers while sewing to help push the needle through the fabric. It's also a Monopoly piece. It's a simple enough shape except for all those little divots. So how do we get all those divots? I've got a pretty simple solution that uses geometry nodes. So first, model the shape of the thimble. There are lots of different styles, but they all have this general shape. I'm going to stop here and add more detail later. Now duplicate it in object mode, leave it where it is, and hide it. Now add an icosphere and scale it down in edit mode. In object mode, move it out of the way. Now select the thimble shape that is not hidden and add a new geometry node group. This is a very simple setup. It's just three nodes and two of them are already there. So the last one is a point instance. Now in the geometry node editor, in the point instance node next to where it says object, select icosphere. So now there should be spheres attached to every vertex on the object. You can adjust the scale of your spheres in edit mode. Once your spheres are correctly sized, go to the top where it says Object, Apply, Make Instances Real. Now we have the original Geometry Nodes object and individual Icosphere objects. You need to delete the Geometry Nodes object. The simplest way to do that is to hide all of the Icospheres. They will all automatically be selected when you hit Make Instances Real. So just press H right after that and that will leave the original Geometry Nodes object that you can now delete. Now hit Alt-H and that will reveal the individual Icospheres as well as the other thimble shape that we hit earlier. So now hide that thimble shape again so we can work on the spheres. We don't need all of these. So obviously you can delete all the ones at the bottom and these on the shoulder and at the top any that overlap. So you can delete every other one. And as you get closer to the center, delete every fourth one. And you can delete all of them in the very center. Now I'm going to add more details to the thimble. There are millions of designs, but I'm just adding some grooves and a bevel at the top. Now hide the thimble, join all of the spheres into one object. When you do this, it'll create a second set of icospheres off to the side. So just delete that. Now unhide the thimble object and add a Boolean modifier. Set the object to the icospheres and apply it. Now you can delete the spheres and you're left with nice, evenly distributed divots. You can set the shading to smooth and it will look terrible, but you can just turn on auto smooth and that will correct those issues. Now you can add a bit more detail around the edges. Select all of these edges, duplicate them, separate them. In edit mode, select the top vertices and rotate them on the Z axis. Select all the edges and extrude, right click to cancel and now scale on the X and Y axis only. Select all the faces and extrude along the normals. Now bevel all the edges and scale it to fit. Now just add another boolean and you've got a lot more detail around the bottom. Add a floor, some lights, a spool of thread, and a needle, and now you have a pretty decent looking scene.